We are gathered here today to witness the union of Jesse Moore and Kendall Woken. Welcome friends and family, we're glad to have you with us. Today is the beginning of a remarkable journey for this couple. Marriage is an integral part of the human tradition. Let us remember as we stand here before God that the vows taken today hold great importance. As individuals, we make the choice to enter the union of marriage to share all aspects of ourselves with our soulmate. Today, this is true for Jesse and Kendall. So there are no words to describe how much Kendall means to me. Nothing in this world makes me happier than seeing you happy. Not even sunsets, not even chicken tenders and fries. I feel so lucky that I get to be a part of your big day. You're my best friend, and I know you know that, so to be able to experience life with you has been so unreal. I know people hear this saying all the time, and it's kind of cheesy, but it's true. Kendall's literally my built-in best friend. When I think about Kendall, I think about how authentic and confident she is, and there are not very many people like her. My wish, if I could have one, is for everyone to have a Kendall in their life. But you can't have my Kendall. Hi everybody, I'm Riley, uh, Jesse's childhood best friend. Um, we actually grew up a half a mile down the road from each other our whole lives, but we didn't hang out till the first time since uh, when we were 12. That's the first time. Um, randomly, just showed up at his house, knocked on the door, Craig answered it, and he's like, what are you doing here? It's like, hey, I was wondering if uh, Jesse's around and he could hang out. And he was with another buddy of ours. And I go into the back and they're playing trampoline basketball. And I was like, let's go. You guys are just beginning your road trip and the road trip so many different things can happen as you're going down the road you might turn right at Reno or you might turn left at Reno and you don't know where it's going to take you but I'll tell you one thing wherever you go as long as you're together you'll be able to make this road trip smoothly and succinctly and be safe with it and when you get to the other side you're going to look back on it and go man that road trip was going to be so long, but it went over so fast. It was done so quickly. I kind of equate that to fatherhood. You look at it when your kid is little, and the next thing you know, they're grown up and getting married. But it's a hell of a road trip. So as you guys start your road trip, I want you to always know, if you ever find a flat tire, you ever find yourself on an abandoned road with a flat tire, I'll be right there to help you guys. Jesse, the countdown's finally over. And thank you for being the person I go to for everything. My best friend, the calmness to my various storms, and my biggest support system. Thank you for finally admitting that you knew who I was from Instagram before we ever met, <laughs> even if that admittance came four years after. There was a night at your house that your dad pulled me aside to talk and he had asked me how I knew you were the one. I didn't know how to verbalize exactly how I knew. I just had this internal feeling of what felt like home and I just knew. I knew inside so well after the, our first date I went home and I found an old shoe box in my closet and I wrote the date May 5th 2017 on it. And I've been collecting small pieces from places we went or things we saw over the past six years and I put them in that box because on that day, I just knew. I wanted us both to look back and experience a box of memories together and now we can move on to a new chapter and start collecting new memories. From this day forward, I promise to always hold on to memories of us and cherish them. I promise to be your annoying voice of reason even when you don't ask for it. I promise to always have your back 
and support you in whatever you choose to do in this life. I promise to be the one to throw the ball for the dogs and any kids when you can't. I promise to always be your safe space, your travel buddy, your person to split meals with. And I promise to provide you and our pups and our future family with 100% of my energy and love so that you all never doubt your importance to me. I'm entering today and the rest of our lives with the fullest my heart has ever been. And I love you beyond anything that any vow could ever express. Kendall, Nug, Baby, my best friend. From the moment we met in college and we were wearing the same outfit, I knew that you were someone special. I quickly realized as we started to spend time together how lighthearted, sarcastically funny, and a joy you were to be around. As we stand here today with two adorable dogs, great careers, and thousands of memories, I can't help but feel grateful for the love we share and, life, and the life we've built together. You have always been my rock, holding me accountable and pushing me to be the best version of myself. I know that you will be a warm, protective, and supportive mother, and I can't wait to start a family with you because I know you will always put our family first. I love that you are my best friend. I love the way you can make me laugh and seem like nothing else in the world matters at that moment. You always find a way to find enjoyment in our lives, and I couldn't love you more for that. I love you for your passion and constant motivation. I can't wait to see what you can accomplish in your life and with our family. Your determination is so inspiring. I love you for making me feel loved, even when we're a thousand miles away. Now I want to make some promises to you. I promise to go on road trips to new places and make a constant effort to, to try new things in our relationship. I promise to always support your dreams and your aspirations, as well as our children's. I promise to always have a drink with you when you need a drinking partner, even if that means I have to have something I don't want. I promise to be the man you fell in love with and strive to be a better version of myself every single day. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support, to support you through thick and thin, and to cherish every moment we share together. I am honored to become your husband today, and I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and making you happy. Please repeat after me. I, Jesse Moore. I, Jesse Moore. Present you, Kendall Woken. Present you, Kendall Woken. With this ring. With this ring. As a symbol of our everlasting love. As a symbol of our as everlasting love. Let it never lose its luster. Let it never lose its luster. Just as my love for you will never fade. Just as my love for you will never fade. Kendall. Please repeat after me. I, Kendall Woken. I, Kendall Woken. Present you, Jesse Moore. Present you, Jesse Moore. With this ring. With this ring. As a symbol of our everlasting love. With the symbol of our everlasting love. Let it never lose its luster. Let it never lose its luster. Just as my love for you will never fade. Just as my love for you will never fade. Jesse and Kendall, by the power vested in me, by the American Marriage Ministries and the state of California, under the eyes of God, I happily pronounce you husband and wife. Jesse, you may kiss your bride. We've watched you guys grow as a couple for you know, the time in San Diego, coming to our house, your little babies, Boo Boo and Levi, growing up in our house. And you guys, I can't wait to share memories with you in the future. And I just don't know what else to say. I'm just overwhelmed 
with love with you guys. This is great. I've never felt like this. So, to the bride and groom, I love you forever. Let's do it. <laughs>